Good morning, traders. My name is Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Thursday, January 20th, 2011. I have my cup of coffee. I'm ready to go. Markets right now are slightly down. Um, I woke up thinking, wow, I wonder if Asian Europe would take in a beating after yesterday's U.S. drop and would we be following suit yet again today? Not seeing that. I see that we're slightly down here. Uh, pre-market, excuse me, hope that um, the markets may not be in a free fall, but just a little pullback here in the markets. But um, yesterday was pretty damaging here in the markets where we dropped quite a bit, and we had the small caps drop by 2.5% with almost a 10% pop in the fear indicator of the VIX. And um, and that's a, a warning sign. That is some thunder out there in the distance that we want to watch for. But we're looking at the spiders. Uh, let's go to a 60-minute chart first. And you can see how we had this rising wedge. And I shared this on last night's video. And then it came crashing down. Now we have a falling wedge or a rolling over taking place. And I'll show this to you by drawing a couple trend lines. That trend line... And then that trend line coming down. Actually, if I were to take this trend line, I'd actually have it go about right there on that swing. So it's already starting to pop over at this moment. But you can see how we didn't even hit that trend line right there. See this? I know. You, let me blow it up. So if we get looking at these trend lines, we hit here, missed here, and now we're starting to head up. This is that rolling. Um, effect that I'm talking about. It's a slowing of momentum. A slowing of momentum. And there we are. So it looks like to me the market's going to want to bounce here. We have the 200 intraday moving average on the 60 minute acting as support. And we kind of have a tweezer bottom which can act pretty powerful. So if we get some continuation um, in the next couple hours to the upside, that would um, give us a good chance of having a bullish day yet today, even after yesterday's activity. If I go to a 15-minute chart here, I need to redraw a line back in here. I actually deleted it for those of you that... Let's see... I'll put it right there. Probably just a smidge higher than that. All right. I feel better with that one. All right. So here are our levels. Um, heading up, we have 128.16, 128.30, 31, 128.63, a bigger one at 128.77, and 128.80, and 128.99, or... Um, yeah, just 129, 129.35, and 129.67 is a bigger one. Anything that's colored, um, that's a heavier uh, till, um, it holds more weight. That's built off of the hour support levels. The the smaller ones are on the 15s. And then support levels here, be looking at 128.03, 127.90, 91, 127.82, and 127.90. Those are our levels. So let's watch these markets. Listen for you day traders out there. If you have mixed market internals like we did starting off yesterday morning, uh, it is best not to trade long or short. Wait till you have a confluence of buy or sell signals on all the major market internal indicators uh, before you pull the trigger and make your decision to go long or short. That way you're not going to get chopped out of the markets and you have a better chance of making some money. Take care. Hope you can join us this weekend for the mentorship.